So, for some time now, we've seen a set of physical AI wearables from Raybum Meta Glass, which I currently own one and rock it ever since it was available for purchase, the AI pin, which I totally think is a device that is either too early or too late to the party, down to the Rabbit R1, which I have always believed should be an app. In fact, when Dave 2 this video popped up on Twitter, I went on to say, can't wait for phone companies to snatch all the rabbits into one button, oh, did you say iPhone 16 is coming? And as interesting as that sounds, with everyone anticipating the arrival of iPhone 16 and also a couple of interesting updates and reviews that we will be seeing in the next coming WWDC, OpenAI has just busted out of their closet with yet another captivating AI release, as they've just announced at their spring update event a powerful new multimodal foundation large language model called GPT-4 Omni. Listen, I got some huge news. Oh, do tell. I'm all ears. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? GPT-4 Omni reasons across voice, text, and also vision, as it accepts and analyzes real-time video captures and has the ability to process this in real-time. What's your name, little sloughball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. Oh, I can see why. Look at that focus. Fetching balls is serious business for Bowser. At the same time, this also displays various emotions and can use its voice to convey various emotional states. The new model responds to real-time audio and can also dictate users' emotions by voice from audio to video. It can also adjust its voice to match the user's emotion and at the same time, it can also respond to fit into the cause of the particular request or prompt that it's given. Hey Chad, are you there? Hey, yeah. I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's do. Let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started. Or. Whatever. It can respond to audio inputs in as little as 232 milliseconds with the average of 323 milliseconds, which is similar to human response time in any given conversation. The company has also explained that GPT-4 Omni differs from prior GPT models. I kind of think that this beats almost every AI intelligent assistant tool that we've ever seen and it is extremely fun to play with as the demos which we'll be seeing kind of reveals an interesting set of things and features that we will be having our hands on in the coming future. This seems to cover every sphere of our human needs and also has an interesting creative side too. It seems to do every single thing and not just do every single thing, it seems to do it quite well. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. And with this, we can already tell that this is wild and crazy. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci... Come risolviamo le equazioni limiari? Sicuramente, sì. <laughs> Certainly, yes. And just like that, several translation apps will no longer be required on device for translation. It is just amazing. It even teaches students how to get things done. And this is one part which I believe 
AI tools should be driven towards. The fact that students can have equations or problems or probably need a little bit of a guide at certain times and it just simply comes to the rescue. Students and pupils can now use these as their instructor, especially when dealing with difficult subjects and math equations. I'm here with my son and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember really, I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think... I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC? You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. And if you think that serious life events and also mathematics is the only thing that this tool can do, it does even more. can also act as your personal entertainer. Say for example, you like to entertain your kids or probably you just want to have a fun time or you want GPT-4 to lighten up the mood or probably entertain you and friends and give that fun experience, then this has you covered as it takes center stage as your entertainer and creates some very interesting scenes. Tell them a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot, always I like exploring. I started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. There's just a ton of things that this is currently capable of doing and one of the ones that actually got me wondering is a situation where two GPTs were actually talking to each other. The fact that they responded to each other with interesting coordination really felt like there was a human interaction in between but all of these were just AI. Great. Hello there new AI friend. I'm O. Ready to explore the world through your eyes? What are we looking at today? Hi O. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. These can also act as your meeting assistant, which is pretty much one of those things that you might be needing an assistant to do and GPT-4 just simply have you covered in that regards. It's uh, cute, it's loyal, and you can play outside with the dog. Um, how about you, Ola? Yeah, my name is Ola. I think cats are better because they're more affordable, they're more quiet, they're more independent, and they live longer. Interesting points. And just like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I can't wait to see something pretty similar in the upcoming Apple WWDC event or probably with the release of iPhone 16. Meanwhile, the best implementation for this in terms of wearables, like we mentioned in the beginning of this video, would be the Ray-Ban Meta Glass, which currently the AI can take good advantage of all of these interesting features. Hopefully, with future iteration and refinement, glasses will be the replacement of mobile devices. And that's not all. This also has a very good set of creative things that it can do. So, with this being able to generate words in various emotive styles and also comprehend in real time, ladies and gentlemen, the future is already here and it can only get better moving forward. So, this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. A huge shout out to the folks at OpenAI and also all of the contributors that have made this possible. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.